Hello and welcome to another video tutorial and today's tutorial is just basically a quick overview of the new multi sharpen Photoshop panel. When it comes to sharpening we've got to be very careful because many times I do see images which have been over sharpened and sometimes if they get too much sharpening applied to them they can become somewhat brittle in looking and it does give an overall impression that the image is or has been degraded quite considerably. So my personal approach to sharpening is to try and use as little as sharpening as possible. Most images do benefit from a slight amount of sharpening, especially selective sharpening can also be very effective. But this new multi-sharpen panel is based on using the high pass algorithm and it does this in separate stages there are a total of four stages which the sharpening is applied to and in the panel we have two options we can either use the standard option which is basically a preset and that automatically sets the radius of the high pass filter to a preset level or we can use the custom option where we have the ability to actually set that radius level ourselves. Beneath these two options we can see a group of sliders and these control the opacity of each of the individual sharpening layers. That's layers 1 through to 4 and the top slider which is called a group opacity will actually control the opacity of the entire group that's the group of the four sliders because each of the four adjustments are placed into a group there's not a lot I can teach you about the panel but I will just quickly go through both of the options and just show you quickly how they work as an individual against each other. So we're going to start with the standard and this will apply a default amount of radius. So I'm going to choose standard. It will go through the process and it, it, will, it will apply a level of sharpening based on a preset value. As we can see the sharpening has now been applied if we want to look at the before and after, we can simply turn on and off the group layer because that will disable or enable the entire group. If we want to look inside of the group, you will see the individual four sharpening layers. If you want to control or look at the amount of sharpening that each of the four layers has applied, we can look at the individual layers by turning on or off the eye, eyeball icon. Next to the vis visibility button is the sliders. So if we look at the option for say level one and we find that that's slightly too much, we can then reduce the opacity of that single layer. So if we look at the level 1, we'll see that the opacity has been reduced to 53. And this slider is only controlling this layer. So we're actually targeting individual layers. If we want to target all four layers, then we can use the overall group opacity slider. So that's what the standard one does if we've changed the values and we want to come back to the original preset values we can do that by pressing the reset option button to remove the multi sharpen altogether we will choose the remove and that will remove that group just one word of warning when it comes to sharpening my personal approach is to Get the image to where I want it to be just, pre just prior to print 
I'll resize the image to the destination size and that's when I will apply the overall sharpening to the image. If you want to apply sharpening through the entire workflow then you can do so but I would recommend that you do this selectively by applying a mask to one of the floor to one of the four or the group layer itself and then paint in or out the effect as you see fit. So let's quickly turn to the custom option. This will basically do the same only this time it's going to ask us to actually enter a value for that high pass radius. So I'm going to choose custom. It's going to now ask me for a value and what I'm going to do is just look at the edge of this onion and I'm going to select a radius which I think is going to be suitable. What I'm actually looking for when I'm doing this is just a visible outline of the actual subject. So I can just see the outline here. I'm going to choose OK. Now it's gone on to the second level. And again, I'm looking for the outline. I'm just trying to bring it down so it's just visible. Something like that. I've got a, quite an edge to that, so that's fine. Press OK. We're down to the third. I'll look at a different area. And again, I'm just bringing this down. And then the final one is going to be the most aggressive one. And again, I might just look at the edge of the onion just to make sure that I'm just controlling how much out I'm applying that effect. So the radius is going to control how much out it's going to apply that overall effect. I think that looks okay. Press OK. And then that's the sharpening applied. I can do before and after. Unlike the standard one, when we take control, it's actually going to give us a very subtle effect. If I just zoom into this to about 100%, we can see that the overall effect is there, but in this case, it's very subtle indeed. We'll look at the texture in the wood. And that's an effect that I think I would be happy with. But just like before, we can go through each of the individual presets, or not presets in this case, the, the settings, and we can change the overall opacity of that individual layer. If we find that that individual layer is not really having any pleasing effect, then we could actually disable that by simply leaving that layer disabled. I mentioned selective sharpening earlier on. If you expand the group and you want to do some selective sharpening, let's say we want to apply some selective sharpening to level one, then I would simply add a layer mask. I prefer to paint out the effect or in the effect. So I'm going to choose a black mask, take a brush, and then I'm going to paint in the effect to the areas where I want that sharpening to be applied to. So I'm just applying it to the areas within the subject and I'm actually painting through the mask. And if you want to remove the entire group, just like we did in the standard option, we can do that by pressing the remove group. So I'll just show you a before and after. And remember that sharpening is there just to try and enhance certain parts of the image. It's not there to sort of completely destroy the image, which I do see happen very often where we get halos appearing around the edges. We get all nasty artifacts. 
and to me that image just does not look natural so control the sharpening in a controlled way apply small levels of sharpening but apply it to the areas where you want the sharpening to be applied to so that's just a quick rundown on the multi sharpen photoshop panel if you have any questions please feel free to get in touch via the website so until next time thank you for watching and bye for now